today we'll talk about quality factor and selectivity of series resonance circuit. So what is quality factor? Quality factor is the sharpness of the resonance in a series resonance circuit. It relates the maximum energy stored in the circuit or the reactance to the energy dissipated the resistance. Or to put it simply, it is reactive power over real power. The higher the quality factor, the smaller the bandwidth, which, which means quality factor is inversely proportional to bandwidth, while selectivity is a measure of its ability to reject any frequencies from either side of the bandwidth. Well, quality factor is directly proportional to selectivity. So based from our last discussion, we know that resonance happens when both the reactants XL and XC are equal. So seeing from this graph, we know that if both the reactants are equal, the current is at maximum. So we can see the sharpness of the current in its graph. So the sharpness of this graph is called the quality factor. While the measure of its ability to reject any frequencies from the lower bandwidth to the higher bandwidth is, is called selectivity. As you can see in this graph, the relationship between the quality factor and its resistance in a circuit. So, So, the greater the resistance, the lesser the quality factor is. As you can see here, the resistance number 3 is greater than resistance number 2, which makes its quality factor less than the, less, lesser than the resistance number 2, while the resistance number 1 has the least resistance, which makes its quality factor the biggest of them three. Now, I will show you how to derive the formula to get the quality factor. Since we know quality factor is equal to the reactive power over the real power, and re reactive power is equal to I squared reactance and the real power is equals to I squared resistance. We can both cancel out the current, which remains the reactance over R. The reactance here is either XC or XL. Since in, in resonance circuit, both XC and XL are equal. So, after this, we can also get another formula using, using this equation. We know that Xc is equals to 1 over omega c. And if we substitute it in this formula, we can get the Omega in a resonance circuit is equals to and if we substitute it, we can get if we further expand it, we can get So 
will square both sides Now, we can cancel out the C. Now, we'll square both sides. Square, square. And since R is squared here, we can cancel out the squared and put it outside the square root. So, here is another formula for the quality factor. 1 over R square root of L over C. So, example number one. A series circuit consists of a resistance of 4 ohms, an inductance of 500 millihenries, and variable capacitance connected across a 100 volts, 50 hertz supply. Compute the capacitance required to produce a series resonance condition and its quality factor. So, first, let's write down the given. So, the first thing we should do is to find the reactance of the inductor. The frequency given is 50 hertz and the, the, the inductor is 500 millihenry. So, the inductive reactance is So, using this inductive reactance, we know that the series resonance circuit is that XL is equals to XC. So, we can just use the formula for the XC. So, XC is equals to 1 over 2 pi f c and we need to get the c so we can just exchange place c so let's substitute the given to the formula The XC here is equals to XL, so let's use that. So, the capacitance to get the series resonance condition is equals to 20.3 microfarads. Now that we have XL and XC, we can get the quality factor of the circuit. So, quality factor is equals to XL or XC over R. So, since both of them are equal, so 157.1 divided by R, which is 4 ohms. So, the quality factor 
of the given circuit is equals to but we can also get the quality factor using the other, the other formula which is So the answer of this is still the same with the other quality factor that we have solved. So for example number two, a coil is supplied with 200 volts and takes a current of 2 amperes at 0 0.07 lagging. Determine the quality factor or Q of the coil. So first, let's write down the given. Now, since our given doesn't correspond with any of our formula, let's just use the power factor. We know that the power factor is equal to cosine angle. So, to get the angle, we can just inverse cosine the power factor. Now, we can get the angle of 45 degrees. Now, since we know that from the power triangle, that the quality factor is equal to Q over P. We can, using this angle, we can just get the tangent angle is equals to opposite over adjacent, which means Q over P, which is still the quality factor of the circuit. So, So the quality factor of this circuit is equals to 1. As you can see, we can also get the quality factor using tangent theta. And the quality factor of the coil is equals to 1. To summarize everything in my topic, the quality factor is the sharpness of the resonance in series resonance circuit, while the selectivity is the ability to reject any frequency from the bandwidth. So the difference of them two is that the quality factor can be measured quantitatively while the selectivity cannot. That's why there is no formula for selectivity. So the formula for the quality factor is Quality factor is equals to XL over R or XC over R. Quality factor is equals to 1 over R square root of L over C. And lastly, quality factor is equals to tangent theta.